they've known each other for a few years. And she and I go way back. <laughs> In fact, I was there the day she was born. <laughs> her daddy was the first one to hold her and marvel at the gift that, he had, that had been entrusted to us by God. He had some things to say to Emily that morning, and even though she was, she's always been bright, I'm sure she didn't understand the words at the time, but the first thing that Jim said to her as he danced her around the room to some praise music was, Emily, you belong to Jesus. Children don't belong to their parents, rather they're entrusted to them by God as a gift to treasure for just a short time. We sort of rent them or take them out on loan. And uh, you've been really expensive. <laughs> we raised you, Emily, with the concept that you belong to Jesus. And we taught you that all of your beauty and your quirkiness and all of your talents were precious gifts straight from the hands of the master and that you belong to Jesus. The second thing that Jim said to her, Connor, was, Emily, Jesus loves you. It's an honor and our responsibility to show the love of Christ to you so that you would know what the love of Jesus looked like. Today, I'm reminded of Paul's words to the church in Ephesus. It says, husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church. And as I give her to you today, Connor, it becomes your responsibility to continue to teach her what it looks like when the love of Jesus gets a hold of a man who loves his wife. What the love of the bridegroom for his people, the church, looks like. And the third thing that her father told her that day as she joined our family is, Emily, God has a special job for you. And it became our job to help you learn to listen and obey the small, still voice of our Heavenly Father. That's all part of your job now. Together, to hear and obey God's call on both of your lives. You will fall short and you will both fail. The good news is that when we fall, the great mercy and grace of the Lord and all the resources of his unconditional love will help you forgive and move forward. And because you're going to have a long marriage, you will have to forgive a lot. <laughs> and I know you both will. Emily, you belong to Jesus. Jesus loves you. And Connor loves you. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, together, and together, God has a call on your lives and marriage, and because I'm convinced of this, it is in memory of your death, and with great joy that I entrust you, Connor, with our precious daughter, Emily Ruth. Yay. Okay, full disclosure now. <laughs> um, I am the father of the